I want you guys to see how big of an idiot I am. Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're looking at the time that Amberlynn Reed tried to become a Jenny Craig spokesperson. Now I say that because as you watch this, I want you to notice her reactions to the foods. It's very over the top, even more so than usual. And it just reminds me of a Jenny Craig commercial. Now I know in the past that Jenny Craig has taken videos of people who've been on their program that's been on social media and used them in their commercials. So in my opinion, that is what Amberlynn was trying to do. She was trying to get onto a Jenny Craig commercial. But let's watch it together and you can tell me what you think. Hey guys, so welcome to day one of me being on Jenny Craig. I'm really excited. So with Jenny Craig, they have everything planned for you. So it's going to be pretty easy. Large majority of the food that you eat is Jenny Craig food but you do eat your own fruits, veggies, and things like that. I have to eat six times a day. It's going to be breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. I'm here to share everything that I eat, do some taste tests, tell you guys how I'm feeling for the first week of Jenny Craig. So let's do it. First meal, chocolate dream shake, which we'll be trying. Two mini cinnamon rolls and an apple that I washed and cut up. Got it. First meal, sugar. So let's try the shake first. This isn't that bad. Hmm. Pretty good. All right, time for the cinnamon roll. What? So I'm gonna be able to eat this for breakfast and lose weight. Here for it. This is delicious. Oh my God. Okay, so that's what I meant by her being so overly dramatic about the food. Okay, now that you know what to expect, just keep watching. She does this over and over in this video. This is a chocolate brownie Jenny Craig bar. So obviously we gotta do a taste test. So let's do it. Ooh. I love the texture. It's super chocolatey, delicious. I feel like it might even be good frozen or like in the refrigerator. We have two cups of garden salad. The dressing on here is actually a Jenny Craig dressing. It is creamy herb. So we will be doing a taste test on that. And then we have a little cheeseburger moment. I'm gonna try the burger first. Just a quick little aside here. This was kind of like a mini scandal back when it happened. In the background, you can see Beck is cooking some kind of pasta dish and she has a pan full of garlic bread. Well, people assume that she was cooking so much food because Amberlynn was cheating on her Jenny Craig diet and eating that with Beck, which then they had to come out and say, no, no, Beck was eating all that food. It, it was all just hers. And then they had to come out and clarify, okay, yeah, it was all her food, but this was over a period of days. She was meal prepping, apparently. So it was all just kind of a silly little thing, but I just thought I'd throw that in there in case you guys weren't around when this happened. All right. What? Uh, that's good. Time for salad. I love salad. I feel like this dressing would be perfect for a pasta salad. That's what it is. And the second bite tasted even better than the first. So I'm gonna go eat. For dinner, I have a ton of green beans and then this is mac and cheese with carrots and broccoli. Now we get to do the little taste test. All right, so that's how it looks. I feel like I'm being pranked. These meals are good. Mm. So far, 
I've liked everything. Now, I do believe her when she says that she likes the food. I don't know if she likes it as much as she's portraying because she's acting like it's from a five-star restaurant or something. But I do think she likes the food. I think the problem comes where the amount of food. I don't think it's enough food to sustain her. Also, I think she has a control issue when it comes to food. And even if it tastes good, if it's not what she wants in that moment, she's not going to eat it. She wants what she wants when she wants it. And some Jenny Craig meal or bar is not going to satisfy her. We're having a cocoa and nut bar. All right. Oh, this is good. Mm. We have a breakfast sandwich. This is called the sunshine sandwich, I think is what they call it. Super cute. So it's just an English muffin. There is egg whites. It's just an egg white patty with, this is bacon. Looks like ham. Maybe it is ham. Hold on. Okay, the package says it's Canadian style bacon. And then we have some cheese. Here we go. That tastes homemade. That tastes homemade and it's so good. Another thing that I love. Sure, Mrs. Jordash. Sure, Mrs. Uber Eats. Keep trying to convince us that you love things that taste homemade. I have two cups of a garden salad and the dressing I'm using today is the Jenny Craig balsamic, which I am super, super excited to try. And then we have chicken fettuccine. Let's try the salad first. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Okay. Now it's time for the chicken fettuccine. Oh. oh my God. Literally tastes like I just made this myself. Like, fresh chicken, perfect texture. No, see, because if it tastes fresh and has perfect texture, there's no way I believe that it tastes like something you made. I'm actually shook to the core. Now let's try a noodle. Mmm. Yep. Wow. Jenny Craig food is so good. I cannot get over it. I have a loaded baked potato and some broccoli. Okay. Here we go. I love potato. Oh. Smells good. This is good. Let's try a bite with the broccoli. Mm. Okay, see, here's why I know she's lying. She wants us to believe that all she had for dinner was some broccoli, a salad, and a baked potato. There is no way Amberlynn Reed ate only that for dinner and nothing else. Get out of here. So this is Jenny Craig Waffles and Jenny Craig syrup and a serving of fruit. So. Mm, this is so good. I don't understand. I am not sponsored, but I truly recommend Jenny Craig for any type of person who wants to lose weight. The food actually tastes really good. They teach you about moderation. I love it. Jenny Craig has really helped me with showing like true portion sizes. It is honestly pretty crazy. Okay, so I'm having half of an apple. This is not an apple. I'm having half of a banana and I'm having chicken carbonara. So it looks like there is peas, some bacon, and chicken. So let's do it. I'm gonna take a bite of the chicken. Mmm. 
I love the texture of their chicken and their taste. It's so good. Mm. Yep, love it. I have not ate a single thing from Jenny Craig that I haven't liked. I'm having a huge salad with some carrots and Jenny Craig balsamic vinaigrette. Oh, Jenny Craig taught you portion control, huh? Well then how come those salads keep getting bigger and bigger? And we're also having a chicken burrito. Ugh, looks so good. So we're gonna try that together. Mmm. And we have a sunrise scramble. We have spinach, tomato, cheese. Ugh. It looks and smells so good. All right. Here we go. This is what it looks like up close. Ooh, looks so good. Oh, bitch. It tastes homemade. That's what I'm shook about. Like all of these Jenny Craig meals literally taste like homemade. Doesn't taste like processed food, prepared food, frozen food. It literally tastes like you just made it. See, the way that she keeps reiterating how this tastes homemade over and over, that's why I think she was trying to do this for a commercial. Like, we all know that that's frozen food. She says it doesn't taste like it's frozen or processed, but that's exactly what it is. So she keeps just trying to convince us, no, no, it tastes homemade, it tastes homemade. Yeah, I can see right through your bullshit. We're having lasagna. So... Girl, if you're gonna try to tell me that that tastes homemade, I ain't buying it. That looks exactly like a Stouffer's. I'm ready to try this because it smells and looks good. Oh yeah. Cheese, spinach. Oh, I love lasagna, it is so good. So let's see if this is up to par. Mmm. Girl, if you don't stop with your overly dramatic mm noises in your hand looking like you're trying to act like this is the best Italian food you've ever had, come on. Delicious. It is super like creamy, cheesy. There's also meat in there. Something I've noticed about Jenny Craig that I thoroughly love, all their pasta is a beautiful texture because I hate like mushy pasta. It's so gross and it's not that at all. I know we're like halfway through this video, but I forgot to tell you guys this. As you're watching, notice how she's dressed. Her makeup is done, including those lovely eyelashes. Um, yeah. And she's wearing her best torrid clothes. Now, if that doesn't say she was auditioning for a commercial, I don't know what does. And this is a egg white omelet sandwich type thing. So from what I could see, there's cheese. There's spinach, and instead of bread, it's literally egg whites, and in the middle, it's sausage, so I'm excited to try this. Mmm. That's really good. I, it does not taste like diet food. All the food has literally been tens. I'm having mixed veggies with meatloaf, so we're gonna try this together. A part of me wants to try something I don't like just to prove to you guys that I'm not faking this, but it's also a good thing that I like everything. Mmm. Oh, wow. There's some type of gravy on top of it that I've never had with a meatloaf because I'm used to having like that red ketchup-ness, but this has a gravy and it's really good with the veggies and stuff. Delicious, yet again. We're having a tuna dill salad is what it's called with some crackers and some almonds. So we're gonna try that as well. Okay, let's try the tuna dill situation. I'm low-key kind of like nervous to try this. I see onion, I'm having a hard time. So I see onion, I see dill, obviously. It smells good. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. That's good. The dill is so prominent. I think next time I'm going to put lettuce underneath it. So it's like a little bit more volume. We have some chicken and lemon cake. So let's, let's do this thing. Mmm. Oh god. I love that I can eat things like this and lose weight. It's pretty freaking amazing. That might be one of my favorite desserts I've tried so far, but like I've said, like all the food has literally been tens. I am having a cinnamon coffee cake. I'm excited to try this and an apple. It smells so good. It smells like something that you'd get like from Starbucks. Okay. That is so comforting. Ten out of ten. Recommend. And it's warm. Mm. And today we have a turkey burger on top of a potato bun. So oh. let's try a bite. And by the way, this smells really good. Like the meat, you can tell that it's seasoned. All right, let's do it. good okay if you've been skeptical about my claims up until this point you have to admit that sounded exactly like a commercial come on okay so i mean this diet seems perfect it's got all this delicious food with its prominent dill and its beautifully textured pasta <laughs> what's not to love about it well she's about to tell us Hey guys, so I stopped filming after this because I did overeat, um, some will call it a binge, and that's okay. It was probably 10 minutes after the meal that I showed you guys where I was like, I am so hungry, I need all the food, and I was like telling Becky... I just want something unhealthy. Like, I just kept saying it repeatedly and repeatedly. And Becky was like, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Like, she was there for me and she was comforting and sweet. But I wasn't listening to her. I ended up having Kung Pao chicken from P.F. Chang's. And then I had a 20-piece nugget, but I only ate the outside of the nugget, not the inside of the nugget. And then a large fry. But I do want to say Jenny Craig honestly might be hands down the best weight loss diet that I have ever tried. Yeah, guys, it's the best weight loss diet she's ever tried, and she only made it a week. But are you surprised? Don't forget to leave me all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comments, and if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so.